View My Calls allows you to view your own calls. In the bottom grid will be all of your calls itemized. You can sort on any one of these columns by simply clicking on the column header here and selecting which way you would like to sort. You can also filter on these columns by clicking on the filter option here and choosing what you would like to filter by and the value for the filter. You can also reorder columns by simply dragging and dropping the columns into different orders. There is also the option in the bottom right hand corner to clear all filters, to add or remove any columns, or to reset columns. There is also a refresh button here to refresh your calls. You can also move on to different pages by simply clicking on the page numbers here or clicking on here to display more items within the grid. You also have the ability to export your grid by clicking on the two options in the top right here. You can export by CSV or by Excel. Also within the grids here, you can also apply labels to dialed numbers or calling numbers. To do this, simply click on the cog here, click on add and give that phone number a description. Click save. Now every time that number is dialed or a call is received from that number, it will now label it as test. To remove these numbers, simply click on the cog again and click delete. You can also access all of your phone book entries or labels by clicking under my phone book and search here. You can also create phone book entries by going to create Looking for your dialed digits by clicking on the select and in here will be all of the digits you have dialed or have dialed you and giving this a label. If this is a personal number, you also have the ability to flag any future calls as personal. Back on the main screen under my calls, you will see there is a timeline graph here. You can hover over these graph points here to see how many calls you've received or you can change the graph by clicking on the drop down list at the top here to show by duration, seeing which days you've spent the most time on the phone, or by cost to see which days you've spent the most on calls. You can also change your dates by coming into here and selecting either quick dates or specific dates. Specific dates allow you to choose start and end dates. There is also a summary tab here, which allows you to show the overall calls that you have made and received. If you have more than one phone number, you can simply click at this list here and select multiple phone numbers. You can also remove phone numbers by clicking on the cross here. Thank you for watching. We hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if there is anything else you would like to learn about Tiger Prism and its other modules, please visit www.tigercoms.com for more tutorials and information.